Hello and welcome to Paul School and today we're going to be looking at how to work out the path of the cue ball after impact. So if we want the object ball to travel straight up the screen along the red line which we call the object ball line then we need to imagine our ghost ball directly behind the red positioned on that line. We then work out our shot line which runs from the cue ball straight to the ghost ball. So to then work out the path of our cue ball after impact we need to introduce a third line which we're going to call the tangent line. This line runs through the centre of the ghost ball and perpendicular to the object ball line. So if we can get the cue ball to contact the object ball with no spin on it whatsoever, so a stun shot, then the cue ball will make contact and then head off along that tangent line. Now this is true of almost any angle. If we come round to a, a finer cut, as long as there's no spin on the cue ball, when it strikes the object ball, it will head off along the tangent line. The only exception to this is if it's a straight shot and we're directly behind the object ball, and then if we play the stun shot, the cue ball should stop dead. As soon as we introduce even the smallest of angles again though, the cue ball will head off along that tangent line. So what about if we play this shot plain ball, striking in the centre of the cue ball? When we play this, the cue ball actually has a little bit of forward momentum. So as we strike the ball, it makes contact with the object ball, it heads off down the tangent line, but then as the spin takes hold, it pulls the cue ball forward from the tangent line. So how quickly that cue ball moves forward from the tangent line depends on how hard we hit the shot. So if we hit the cue ball softly, then it makes impact and then almost immediately moves forward from the tangent line. However, if we hit the shot harder, then after impact the cue ball travels for further along the tangent line before it slows enough for the spin to take hold and then draw the ball away from the tangent line. So if we have a look at this in practice, a slightly thinner cut, the soft shot, cue ball moves forward almost straight away, medium shot, a little later before it pulls forward, and then the hard shot travels along the tangent line and just pulls away at the end. Now the other thing that affects this is the angle of the cut. If we play this as a very thin cut, then the influence of the spin is minimal. This is because the cue ball is already travelling in almost the same direction as the spin, and because the cut is thin, the impact hardly slows down the cue ball at all. So practice these shots, both the stun shot and plain ball, play them at different speeds, and play them at different angles. And hopefully with a bit of practice you'll be able to work out exactly where that cue ball is going. Mm -hmm.